you're there. <laughs> Sorry, I was already reading the letter <laughs> beforehand before showing to you. Yes, um, good afternoon, everyone. Konnichiwa. Thank you so much for all the time supporting our docu vlogs. Oh, level up the tayo. <laughs> Anyways, I'm always um, thankful for every support and love that she show. This is our motivation to continue doing our best to provide you our experiences, our lives, and some stories, a lot of stories from other people who deserve or we admire so much that they have to be uh, here in this vlog. So we continue with uh, your questions and comments and the uh, one interesting question that we found and has to be answered for today is none other than subscriber C. Ha, 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 ha. So subscriber C, thank you so much for your interesting question and I'm really excited to answer this because I, I think I really like talking about this. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I start with your letter. Wow. Okay, it feels like a Tita, Tita, Tita Charo Santos reading a dramatic letter. <laughs> Anyways, dear a new normal athlete, I am really happy that such vlogs like yours has come out in YouTube. Oh wow, oh, feels unique, huh? <laughs> um, your vlogs uh, show the differences of Japan, oh, Japan and Philippines, and you share a lot of experiences in living abroad, as well as your previous and uh, unforgettable memories of the Philippines. Thank you also for sharing stories of our um, some workers here, Filipino workers, uh, whose stories are really inspiring and motivating to everyone in the world to work hard and to be generous. Yeah, sorry for the very long introduction. Yes, it's okay. I'm used to that. And I'm, I also do a lot of introduction. <laughs> and um, my question for the day is that I noticed in one of your long runs, and uh, it was also featured in your vlog, that you were using um, the shoes, the Nike, Nike Zoom 3 shoes, that has been uh, the talk of the town for some time in the running world. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I've, I used this and I will show you later. Um, what is your opinion of uh, using this type of shoe, which has been uh, told to be like uh, cheating oh in the no. running, running, uh, what? In the running sports, <laughs> running sp I said, in the running sports. Please let me know your idea and opinion about this. With so much love and love, subscriber C. Subscriber C, thank you so much for that uh, question. And now it feels like you want me to talk about this controversy again. <laughs> yes, I'm not a professional athlete, but I'm r I really love running. And so I want to understand different uh, um. Uh, re different stuff about running. I want to understand training. I want to understand recovery. And a part of training is that uh, it's one of them. I think one of the important uh, um, gadget we can say gadget of a runner is their shoes, because it it may help. It may I put that there may because we're not sure it, if it will really, but it may help um, performance. So now, I show you the one that you were asking. So I show you this, and um, th this was a gift from a friend. And when when the controversy was a bit at its peak, <laughs> so they gave me the shoes. Actually, it was 
uh, for Kasumigaw Ramarv Marathon 2020. Uh, hopefully to beat my record, my uh, sub four record there. But unfortunately, it was not uh, it was not held. But yes, this is the um, I can see it. Zoom Fly Zoom Fly three shoes. This is the one shoe that you were talking about and it's from the Nike, nonetheless like the Nike company. So you asked me my opinion about this shoe and I'm really wearing it and because of its controversy, right? So first, uh, if you let me, please let me review it for a while. Yeah. Starting with the uh, features of this shoe. So first, it was just a gift. I did not have any plans to buy this, but the news, based on the news uh, before, it was one of the shoes that uh, Eliud Kipchoge, um, the world's best marathoner ever, as has been reported, used a shoe from Nike also that has a carbon plate. And the carbon plate is the one that makes it controversial. Because according to studies, the carbon plate improves running efficiency and running performance. Because, I don't know, based on their studies, it improves some bounce and also some energy. It returns back the energy from the runner. So the, and the runner, in return, becomes so efficient and so he or she becomes fast. So now i and aside from that this shoe also aside from the carbon plate it's also waterproof as it is using a vapor weave yeah actually based on my experience it's really a bit of uh, waterproof even if i use it in the rain my feet does not uh, fill the water over there and um, let us compare of course it's always important to compare with another nike shoe but does not have a carbon plate so uh, I think years ago, also someone gave me. <laughs> I I like receiving presents. <laughs> so someone gave me also a Nike Zoom, a Nike shoe also, which is the Nike Zoom Fly. But it does the diff the main difference of this Nike Zoom Three and Nike Zoom Fly is it does not have the carbon plate. So now I want to share my experience of running both shoe so first one this one this shoe is a good uh, running running trainer just uh, to live by your training it's okay and uh, but yeah sometimes when i use for the rain it the water penetrates so the it, its material is not waterproof as compared to zoom fly 3 and also i noticed that in this shoe I do a lot of uh, like tiptoe. Usually I land on this forefoot. So sometimes I notice that my my toe, toenails die oh, no. <laughs> at that that part. So I, I think here it promotes my feet to land in the in the forefoot, not in the middle midfoot. But this is the main difference that I notice when I'm wearing this one. This uh, Nike Zoom 3 for me I notice like it's very stable like I will land in my midfoot it promotes my feet to land on the midfoot which for most runners should do that to land on the midfoot because if you land on the forefoot it may uh, affect also your some parts of your legs it may stress some parts of your legs like your calf so it's like you're tiptoeing every time if you land on the forefoot if you land on this in this so in this heel part also will affect your heels and uh, may promote also other injuries so it's all the time better to at least land on the mid mid foot and in this shoe i noticed that i was landing on this on this level of um, my feet and um, also i noticed that when i'm using this shoe I don't know if I just got stronger <laughs> but I noticed that I can run like long hours for example in the treadmill without not really getting tired so I don't know if it was because of the carbon plate I, I, I do not claim anything that it was because of the carbon plate but just I noticed based on my experience that I did not 
um, I did not breathe really harder when I was using the shoe. And on rainy days, the water did not enter my feet as well. And one very interesting uh, um, uh, thought about this shoe is that, so just a trivia, during running, um, it is suggested that we have at least 180 the cadence or the time when the feet is landing on the on the so on the on the road at least is at least 180 uh, steps per per minute and it, it's quite hard for um, some uh, runners to do that but normally on my runs i can do at least 178 to 180 180 but ja, when using this shoe I can log at least 190 to 193 my cadence using the shoe in a treadmill and this is a big difference because I was trying to improve my cadence and I can beat this using this shoe so anyways my main opinion is that uh, maybe your next question is is it worth it buying this just uh, I want to say the price is uh, a little higher than the normal Nike issue because of the carbon plate and um, also due to the carbon plate controversies also ar arise and it also challenge now the the sports the athletics um, federation to change some rules and regulations regarding the use of this type of shoe because many claim that is a form of like doping like mechanical doping if there's oh, no doping for drugs like that it's like mechanical doping like improving the performance of athletes especially if you're a competitive or professional runner every second counts every every improvement in uh, by seconds or minutes is really a big big thing in the running so many the controversy is that it's a form of doping mechanical doping and so now um the association has limited the use of carbon plate only to one one layer so this um, zoom 3 has only one carbon plate so it's still um, it's still under that regulation and also some uh, like this how high this one I forgot but on, only I remember about the carbon plate so because of that controversy and as I was telling you it's quite uh, expensive than the normal Nike shoes so if you are planning to buy the shoe yeah I think you have to think a little more because for me actually I don't really believe in shoes like how it affects the performance because I'm believing more on the ability and the training of the athlete so that you can improve performance and so um, I do not care much on the type of shoe that I'm wearing but if you really want to buy the shoe firstly go to the shoe shoe place where you will buy check first your feet what type of fit you are because you don't just use sh shoes you have to fit it with the shoes depending on your type of foot feet so if you're flat feet if you have high arc feet there are correct shoes for that and if you're wearing the wrong shoes, it may cause injuries. So first, check your type of fit first. And then, if because this shoe is on the neutral, neutral type of shoe. So if you're the neutral um, fit, it's okay to use this shoe. So in my case, I'm the, the just neutral fit. So I can, I choose this shoe. I can use this shoe. And yes please be careful in choosing shoe don't buy shoes only because you heard that it has a carbon plate and if you have if you want to improve times you buy it don't please avoid that mistake so after checking your uh, shoes and sh and feet uh, think again w do you really need this type of shoe because if it's not so competitive i think we don't need much of the type of shoe anyways there are still other shoes from nike and other shoe companies that are uh, in the cheaper price but are very durable also Th this i tell you uh, actually this type of shoe i just noticed that it's not so durable because 
I use it daily and actually Nike say that it should not be wear for daily daily trainings because it was made for racing it's a uh, quite a racing shoe and so I use it a lot during my workouts and so some parts already started to be worn out like here <laughs> so yeah it's my um, mistake to use it daily but because I only have few shoes so I wear it a lot so but please uh, remember that and um, thank you so much subscriber C for asking me this type of shoe and I'm so happy to have this chance to introduce to you this controversial shoe <laughs> and yes as an athlete yes finally I tell you the most important thing in training and in your performance is your consistency as an athlete to your workouts it's the most important even though you have the best shoe if you're not consistent you cannot beat that time that you're aiming for it's like um, I want to finally tell about um, uh, Mr. Elid Kipchoge if you're watching idol Pukita you're my idol yeah he's not only wearing the best shoe in the world but if you can see how he trains he trains twice a day he trains with pure heart with the team I think it the answer to why he has improved a lot is because of his training and his mentality to improve better it's not only the shoe maybe the shoe has improved a bit of seconds but more than that it's his um, runner or athlete mentality that has brought him to where he is so I hope that uh, I answered you subscriber C and please sending continue sending us your comments and of course questions of life love love I will consider <laughs> but thank you so much for supporting the new normal athlete bye I'm sorry, uh, I forget to say. And please always make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out any updates about running, about science, about lifestyle, and anything under the sun. Thank you so much, the new normal athlete. Subscribe!